Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. When was the Judicial Branch created? The establishment of the Judicial Branch of the United States is rooted in the early days of the country's formation. The Constitution, specifically Article 3, lays the groundwork for the Judicial Branch but does not elaborate on its exact powers or organization. This lack of detail left it to Congress to flesh out the specifics. One of the first acts of the new Congress was to address this gap through the Judiciary Act of 1789. This act was signed into law by President George Washington on September 24, 1789. The Judiciary Act established the federal court system, including the Supreme Court, as well as the lower federal courts such as district and circuit courts. The Judiciary Act of 1789 divided the country into 13 judicial districts, which were organized into three circuits, the Eastern, Middle, and Southern. The Supreme Court, composed initially of a Chief Justice and five Associate Justices, was to sit in the nation's capital. The Supreme Court first assembled on February 1, 1790, in the Exchange Building in New York City, which was then the nation's capital. This marked the beginning of the judicial branch as we know it today. The early years of the Supreme Court were focused on organizational proceedings and establishing its role within the federal government. The court handed down its first opinion on August 3, 1791, in the case of West v. Barnes. The Judiciary Act of 1789 set the stage for the development of the judicial branch, including the establishment of judicial review, a power that was later solidified in the landmark case of Marbury v. Madison in 1803. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.